What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Lex Express checking in with an awesome review. I'm here to talk about Peacemaker, the new TV show on HBO Max. This is the first episode. We're going to do episode one tonight, episode two tomorrow, and episode three the day after. They did a three episode premiere and I thought that was awesome, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do each episode separately. That way I could truly digest the information and also have three separate videos in case someone just wants to see a review or thoughts video on one of the episodes, um, specifically one of the episodes. So um, now that we get that little introduction out the way, drop a like. Let's get this video recommended, man. I hope you guys are subscribed to the channel. If you're not and you enjoy reactions, reviews, uh discussions unboxings vlogs live gaming this channel's for you all right so james gunn man this guy was given the keys this is this is the perfect example of what happens when warner brothers or whoever's in charge hbo max or whoever i don't know who's in charge honestly but whoever's in charge gave the keys to james gunn trusted him with all these characters and allowed him to create something special. The show is unapologetic. It goes head on. It doesn't care if your feelings are hurt. The dialogue is witty. is crafty. Very creative. I thought they did an outstanding job with the casting as well. And man, let me tell you, they brought back uh, from, I guess, maybe retirement. I haven't seen Robert Patrick in a movie in ages. And he's here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys will call me out on that. But they brought him uh, into the fold. Then you got Daniel Brooks from Orange is a New Black. She's fantastic as well. You got Jennifer Holland. Uh, Chuck Woody Iwuji is Clemson uh, Mern, which I don't know anything about that actor. But we have, um, you know, some familiar faces and some new faces as well. And I couldn't be happier with the casting and the writing and the story that's unfolding. Uh, ultimately, they... They, they just went straight forward, man, and they answered all the questions like, where's Amanda Waller? Um, they they gave us a little recap of the Suicide Squad movie. So if you haven't seen the Suicide Squad movie, I suggest you do so before watching this show. But John Cena is going all out with this character. Like, he is going balls to the wall. Like He is all in, man. He showed uh, that, that he's devoted. You know, not only did he have most of his body... Um, exposed throughout multiple times on this episode, his his comedic timing and just his passion, you could see it. It oozes through the screen, man. I mean, if you don't like the guy, you're not going to like the show. If you don't care about the superhero uh, shows or, or, or characters with a little bit of comedy and maybe a, a little bit of that dark humor, then this show's not for you. But if you have an open mind and you want to give John Cena a shot, this show is the perfect example as to why you should give John Cena a shot as an actor. Just because I feel like he has the perfect balance between action and comedy. And he fits right into this universe. Robert Patrick is his dad and he's a racist asshole. And the, the, the back and forth between them is just hilarious. I felt like every scene that John Cena had was just laugh out loud funny. Like me and my wife chuckled a, a bunch of times. We looked at each other and we talked about how we enjoyed this first episode so much. It was such an easy watch. And it's also building towards, you know, what I think is something special ultimately. Um, you know, the helmet is not just a, a, a big toilet seat, which is what they said it, it pretty much was in the Suicide Squad. Like, it actually has some sort of meaning. I'm glad that they saved it for the show as well. Um, we get a little cameo uh, from Amanda Waller, a.k.a. Viola Davis. That was really cool. I love that, you know, Daniel Brooks is a daughter, you know, that was super, super unexpected for me. And um, I'm just having a good time with the show. You know, I'm not taking it too crazy serious. And, and I'm glad that it's not taking itself super serious. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, man, it's just one of those, one of those shows that it has grit to it, but it does have like a good layer of comedy to get you through it, you know? Because Peacemaker, it's comical. It's ironic. The type of the type of hero that or anti-hero that he is, it's just, it's kind of stupid in a way, you know. So, yeah, I was really impressed by the, the the dialogue and exchanges that they had. I thought that it was very edgy, very creative. Again, I just, 
man, hats off to, to Warner Brothers on this one. I'm constantly bashing them on my live streams and in some of my videos because I feel like they don't let creators create. And they really gave the keys to James Gunn. They allowed him to write and direct and, and create this world that we can all sit here and, and kind of enjoy something different, a breath of fresh air. It's a rated R action comedy, if you will. And it's just something that we don't really have a lot of because... Everything needs to be marketable. Everything needs to be a, a, a big money machine and it has to be PG-13 so it could bring in a lot of viewers and 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 generalize the demographic and stuff like that. And I just think that between the casting, the writing, the directing and the devotion from the lead man, John Cena, I, this show has a bright future, in my opinion. So honestly, if I want to rate it from a 1 through 10, episode 1, I would give it a strong 8.5. A very strong 8.5. It's not an 8, but it's not a 9, in my opinion. I feel like there's there's a lot more to give here. There's a lot more characters that I didn't even see in, in this first episode. So I'm looking forward to episode 2, no doubt about that. And I'm looking forward to continuing watching this show. And I'm not even a TV show type of guy. I really hate watching TV shows. I hate waiting I hate that we have to wait for seasons and things like that. I'm more of a movie guy, but I gave this show a shot. I love John Cena in it. And obviously, I like wrestling and stuff like that. So it's kind of a no-brainer for me to give John Cena a chance in this role. But yeah, I just I love the dynamic between him and his dad. I didn't even talk about the eagle. Eagly, I thought it was going to be a little annoying because it's a little unrealistic. But it fits right into this world that they're going for. It, it really does. And, you know, all the surrounding characters that we did see featured in the first episode... So far, so good. I don't got anything real negative to say. I'm really happy that Rotten Tomatoes has it rated at a 92%. IMDb has it at a 8.2 out of 10. And we have an 87% audience score so far. So I think generally people are satisfied with the show. And I couldn't be happier for everyone involved, man. I'm telling you, when Warner Brothers allows their creators to create, we get special moments in time like we did with the Suicide Squad movie. The Peacemaker Show, Justice, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, and just let creators create Warner Brothers. Stop telling them how long something should be. Stop changing storylines. Let the people you hired finish their stories the way they envision it. That's all I asked for. And that's what we got with this first episode. So I'll see you on the next one. Comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed the show. If you're going to continue watching it after the first three episodes. We're going to cover episode two tomorrow. I'll see y'all real soon. Thank you for tuning in. Peace out.